Now let us discuss about SR2 T flip flop conversion. Here totally we have five steps. Step one is identify the available and the required flip flops. Step two is based upon the required flip flop. Whereas step three and step four are based upon the available flip flops. Uh, step five is uh, we have to construct the logic diagram. Uh, so let us see step one identify the available and the required flip flop. So here the available flip flop is nothing but input flip flop that is SR flip flop. Whereas required flip flop means output flip flop that is T flip flop. The second step is construct characteristic table for the required flip flop. So here the required flip flop means output flip flop that is T flip flop. So here uh, uh, for constructing the characteristic table the inputs are T and QN are the inputs whereas the output is QN plus 1. So here QN plus 1 means next state output, QN means current state output. Here T and QN are the inputs. So we have two inputs. So totally we will have 2 power 2 that is 4 combinations such as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Uh, here we know about T flip flop. T stands for toggle flip flop. If T value is 0, then next state output is similar to the current state output. In the first two cases, T value is 0. So uh, uh, the next state output QN plus 1 is nothing but current state output. So 0, 0, 1, 1. Whereas in the next two cases, T is 1. So T means 1 means toggle. So now what will happen is uh, uh, the next state output will be the complement of the current state output. So 0 will be toggled. So 0 will become 1. 1 will be toggled. So it will become 0. Next, let us see step 3. Uh, step 3 and step 4 are based upon the uh, available flip flop that is nothing but SR flip flop. So step 3 is construct excitation table for the available flip flop SR. So here QN, QN plus 1 are the inputs whereas S and R are the outputs. So T, two inputs means totally we will have four combinations. It is very very easy to remember the excitation table of SR flip flop. So in the first column we have to write 0, 1, 0. And the last value is don't care. So 0, 1, 0 and don't care. And R column is reverse of S. Yes. R column is reverse of S. Yes. So that means don't care 0, 1, 0. So don't care 0, 1, 0. Now according to the excitation table of the SR flip flop. Now we have to fill this table. So here S and R. Here QN, QN plus 1. The, these two columns specifies. Qn, Qn plus 1. If Qn value is 0 and Qn plus 1 value is 0. 0, 0 means what are SR values? 0, don't care. So according to this uh, excitation table, we have to fill the table. So 0, 0 means 0, don't care. 0, don't care. Next to 1, 1. So 1, 1 means don't care 0. Don't care 0. Next to 0, 1 means 1, 0. 1, 0. Next to 1, 0 means 0, 1. 1, 0 means 0, 1. Now, uh, the next step is find Boolean expression for the available flip flop that is S and R. So, first let us find S. Yes. Here we have two inputs T and QN. So, two variable Karnoff map is enough. enough. Why? Because we have only two inputs. So, this column represents T, this column represents QN. So, 0, 1, 0, 1. If we observe S column, 0, 1 means don't care. So, 0, 1 means don't care. If we observe S column, 1, 0 means 1. 1, 0 means 1. So, it is not possible uh, to form the group, group here, to form these two as a group here. So, here. So, this 1 is nothing but our expression. So, what is T value? T value is 1. So, that means T. Whereas, what is QN value? That is 0. So, 0 means QN bar. So, the expression for S is 
T Q N bar. Next, let us observe R column. Don't care. Zero zero means don't care. Next, one one means don't care. One one means don't care. I'm sorry. One one means one. One one means not one. It is not possible to make these two as a group. So here the group contains only one cell, just like this one. So this uh, this one is nothing but T. This one is nothing but Q N. So the expression for R is T Q N. And the last step is step five. Step five is we have to construct the logic diagram. We have to construct the circuit diagram or logic diagram. Let us construct the circuit diagram. So here, what are the inputs? So here, a available flip flop. What is available flip flop? S R flip flop. So S and R are the inputs. Whereas the output is Q N is actual output. Q N bar is complemented output what is the formula for s t q n bar so s receives input from t q n bar q n bar so under operation so s receives input from this input is t this input is t s receives input from t q n bar So this input is T, whereas the second input is from Q N bar. We have to perform the AND operation. Next, what is the formula for R? R means T Q N. R means T Q N. So here we have T. Here we have T. So T. And what is the second input? The second input is from Q N. The second input is from Q N. So what? This is nothing but R. So R receives input from T Q N. So this is the AND gate. So this input is T, and the second input is from Q N. So in this way, so this is Q N, this is Q N bar. So in this way, we can convert S R to the T 